Hi, it's Carly McAvoy. I wanted to show you today how to find fences and include outliers in your box plot, sometimes known as a modified box plot. Also, some books might call this a box and whisker plot, same thing. Um, first, you want to collect some data. I have the weights of 20 people who came into a center with back pain. I have arranged them from least to greatest. And then I use GeoGebra to create this box plot. Um, I'll show you how to do that at the end of the video. But for those of you who don't want to know how to use GeoGebra, you can just end the video at that point. So what do all these numbers mean? Well, if I scroll down to where I've marked it, you can see that this first asterisk or X in this case, if you come straight down, that's 89. That's our lowest value. That's an outlier. It's outside of our box and whisker plot. And then if we come down here, we can see this is 318 and this is 373. So these drop down lines I included, they're not part of the box plot, but just to show you what those values were. And then in here in the box, we have the first quartile, we have the median, which is the second quartile, and then we have the third quartile. Remember the median you just find by putting your numbers in order from least to greatest and finding the middle value, or if there's two values, finding the average. So 190 and 191 are our two middle values, average out to 190.5, that would be our median. Very easy to find the first quartile as well. All you do is take your first half of your data and find that center point and find the average of those two values. If you had an odd number, you would be the number in the middle, but since we have an even number 10, we find the average of those. And then we're gonna do the same thing down here for the second set of data to find that third quartile, finding the average of our two numbers in the middle. Since those two numbers are the same, I can see those are gonna be 201. However, I don't need to do that if I'm using GeoGebra. It will find all those values for me. So what is the first quartile? Well, the first quartile is over here, 159.5, that's that one. Uh, the median is 190.5, and the third quartile, as we said, is 201. So I have those values on there, and I remember that these are my outliers, my lowest and my two highest values. But what are these, why are these lines here? Well, we, we find those values by finding our fences. So the fences kind of tell us what are our, we're going to call our regular values and anything outside of that are outliers and inside of that is included. So first we need to find the IQR, which is the interquartile range, that is the third minus the first quartile. In our case, that's 201 minus 159.5, and that gave me 41.5. That's the range between these two lines here in my box plot. The upper fence is the third quartile plus one and a half times the 41.5. And so if I plug those numbers in, I get 263.25. And then my lower fence is the first quartile minus one and a half times the IQR. And those numbers plugged in give me 97.25. Notice the fences are not part of our box plot. The whiskers end at the of the data here um, are the values closest to the fence, but inside the fence on each side. So our lower fence was 97.25, which would be right in between these two values. To the left of that is an outlier, and to the right of that is the closest value, which is where we get this, which is at 107. The upper fence, 263.25, would fall right here between these two values. So anything to the right of that is an outlier. Those are our two outliers. And then value just to the left of that is our edge of our data whisker here, which is 221. So that's how to find those, That you, everything you need to know to do fences and outliers. And I'm going to show you how to do that on GeoGebra. So I'm going to go to GeoGebra.org and click on GeoGebra Classic. And then I'm going to click on Spreadsheet. If you don't see Spreadsheet in there right away, you could click on the three lines up here click on Perspectives, and then click on Spreadsheet. Um, if you don't want to have this graph up here, you can click on the three dots here and close. All right, now I'm going to go ahead and copy, I mean paste, by putting my uh, cursor over the first box there and then Control V, and I'm pasting all my data values into that. And then I'm going to highlight those and click on the histogram button up here and the one variable analysis. That does give me a histogram. I don't want a histogram, but that's what it started off as. Now I'm gonna come up here, click on histogram and go to box plot, and it's gonna give me that box plot that we saw before. Notice I left my 373 out, so I'm gonna to have to do that again. I'm gonna include that here. 
one variable analysis and get that other point in that I accidentally left off. Make sure you highlight all of your data. And then I'm going to say, did I, uh, wh where's those numbers that I had? Well, go over here and click on this button, and now it shows you the um, median and quartile one and quartile three and all that. So that's how you can do your box plot inside uh, GeoGebra, and then you can have all your information you need to answer any of your questions. All right, that is um, it for today, and I hope you have a great day.